One way to analyze a work of art, such as a novel or short story, is by examining the elements within that work. Another way is to learn more about the artist or author. We are all influenced by various aspects of life, our upbringing, our beliefs, the times in which we live, other people, our own personalities. These influences can reveal themselves in our actions and in our art. One major influence is time period. Stephen Crane was influenced by the aftermath of the Civil War. The author Stephen Crane was born after the American Civil War. The time period in which he grew up, lived, and wrote was still recovering from that war. This was a time of change and upheaval. Americans were trying to figure out what it meant to be American now that the country was a single country again. Part of that identity crisis involved a growing concern with people's private lives and morals. In addition, the Industrial Revolution had already begun in England. America also was becoming more modern and industrial with larger and larger cities. The time of exploration and free living, encapsulated by the idea of the wild, wild west, was ending. Regarding the Civil War, memories and discussions about the Civil War were part of everyday life when Stephen Crane was growing up. This statue in Portland, Maine was put up in 1891. Other similar statues and remembrances occurred around the country. Stephen Crane was influenced by the memories and discussions and remembrances around him, just as we are influenced by the times in which we live. Crane wrote a famous novel called The Red Badge of Courage, which is about a young soldier during the Civil War and the courage that the young man gains during his experience. Stephen Crane was also influenced by the closing of the West. At the end of the 1800s, the West of the United States was more settled than at the beginning of the 1800s. Many people of the time perceived that the West was closed, meaning it was no longer a wild, lawless environment populated by cowboys and pioneers. In truth, the image of the wild, wild West is partly myth, but like with all myths, there is some truth to it. Stephen Crane wrote a short story based on the idea that the wild, wild west had become tamed. In the story, a marshal of a western town goes off to get married. He returns to town with his bride. He returns on the train, which is a symbol of modern progress, technology, and civilization. The bride likewise represents a more civilized, moral, and less wild society. After the marshal returns to town, his nemesis, a drunk cowboy named Scratchy Wilson, who is always shooting up the town, confronts him. However, when Scratchy Wilson sees that the marshal has a bride with him, he gives up and wanders away. Like Stephen Crane, other authors wrote about the changing West. One of those authors was O. Henry. These videos are based on short stories by O. Henry. Not only can a time period influence an author, personal experiences can greatly influence an author. Agatha Christie was one of the most famous mystery writers of the Golden Age. When Agatha Christie was 36, in 1926, she disappeared. Agatha Christie's mother had recently died. Her husband then asked for a divorce. 
In the 1920s in England, divorce was very scandalous. Many people believe that Christy suffered a nervous breakdown. She left her car and hiked to a seaside town where she stayed in a hotel for several days under a different name. Eventually, Christy was located. The entire matter caused a huge media storm, even by today's standards. The hounding by the press impacted Christie's attitude years later. In her autobiography, Christie wrote, From that time, I suppose, dates my revulsion against the press, my dislike of journalists and of crowds. It was unfair, no doubt, but I think it was natural under the circumstances. I had felt like a fox, hunted, my earths dug up, and yelping hounds following me everywhere. After her disappearance, Christie went on to marry a good friend, Max Mallowan. She never discussed her disappearance. Even though she never discussed her disappearance in 1926, that event impacted Christie's writing. One of her books, Sad Cypress, bears many similarities to the emotional upheaval Christie experienced in her 30s. Artists, including authors, are influenced by the world around them, as well as their personalities and experiences. Stephen Crane was influenced by the aftermath of the Civil War and the apparent closing of the West. Agatha Christie was influenced by a traumatic event in her 30s. For the second essay, you will need to do research on two influences on an author. The influences need to be specific. That is, if you focus on time period, you should list something more specific than time period in your thesis. You will need to list something such as the Civil War, or the aftermath of the Civil War, or the Industrial Revolution, or the Golden Age of Mysteries. Be sure to closely read the second essay instructions.